remember maybe a half dozen times when I was playing in, in a huge arena, sometimes I would, it would almost feel like lightning. Electricity was going down my arm. I, it's hard to verbalize because it's not like being electrocuted, but it just feels, you know, like electricity is going through my body. And it's probably because I'm surrounded with all these amplifiers and, uh, and gadgets and, uh, and giant PA and everything. That might have something to do with it. It's, it's a fantastic feeling and, you know, especially when I'm doing my guitar solo and I'm alone on stage in the front of an audience and, you know, my guitar's smoking. I just kind of go away. It's almost like uh, I leave my body for a minute and I'm floating above watching it happen. It's a great feeling. There's nothing like it in the world. I grew up in a household with, everybody played an instrument, and I was the youngest of three kids, so, you know, I was surrounded. <laughs> you know, my mom and dad both played piano, my brother and sister played piano, and, and eventually they took up, like, the folk guitar, and uh, one day I picked up my brother's folk guitar and started strumming chords. He taught me a few chords, and uh, I was digging it, and then, like, one day I went to my friend's house, and he had an electric guitar with a little lamp, and I turned it up to 10 and hit an E chord, and that was it, you know, I was hooked. Sometimes it's hard starting out, but you know, if you persevere, you know, people say to me, what's the first thing you tell young musicians, Ace? And I say, three words, practice, practice, and practice. Yeah. Practice makes perfect, you know, it's an old saying, but it's a truism. I mean, when I was young, I used to have to watch how I was playing, and, and I, it just felt so good when I got to the point, and I'm not exactly sure when that happened. It was early on, but you know, several years. When I got to the point where I could play a whole song without even looking at the neck. You know, it was just, uh, it just happened. It just flowed out of me. And that's a great feeling. What makes the Les Paul special is the fact that the neck is arched. You know, if you try to lay a fender on a table, you can, but you try to do a Les Paul, you know, and there's a bow, it's really not, Good for the instrument, and, you know. That creates the tension on the strings, and it gives you the sustain that uh, I think the Les Paul uh, guitar is known for. And I actually never had a Les Paul until I joined Kiss, and we got our first check and picked up a Sunburst Les Paul standard. And I played that for many years, and then eventually I, you know, I progressed on to Gibson uh, Les Paul Custom, and that's pretty much my trademark. This shows three pickups, but there's only one connected because I always use the treble pickup. Now that's indicative of my tone through a Marshall amp, you know, pretty much cranked without a lot of effects. Usually when I'm playing live, I'll have my volume down to about seven or eight. Then when it comes for time for a solo, I'll just turn it to 10. And it, the sound's there. People ask me, like, well, what's one of the proudest moments? And, you know, it's, it's all, for me, growing up in New York City, it was playing Madison Square Garden. Because I used to go there as a kid. You go to sporting events, you go see concerts. You know, if you live in New York, you play Madison Square Garden, you've made it, you've arrived. That was probably one of the, that's the thing that stands out to me the most. You know, the night, one weekend we did three nights at the Garden sold out, and I, that was like a, a triumphant weekend. Nothing, nothing really surpassed that. Yeah. 